You may have heard the story by now. It all started with a t-shirt. Earlier this month, Phi Sigma Kappa alumni went to the gym wearing shirts that read, please don't feed the sorority girls on the front and campus beautification on the back. Washington College of Law student Kendra Lee saw the shirts and immediately wrote an op-ed for the Eagle condemning them, asking gym goers to be more cautious with their clothing choices. I just hope that it makes people think about how they present themselves when they walk around on campus and when they go to the gym, which is already a really scary place for someone with an eating disorder. And seeing that, it was, it was tough, honestly. I went home and I wrote the op-ed because I had to get it off my chest. At a different stage in my recovery, maybe a few months ago, I would have seen it and I would have relapsed so hard, you know. I Her story was soon picked up by Jezebel, and the original article has several pages of comments. At first, they were really nice. At first, they were like, I also have an eating disorder, blah, blah, blah. But then, once more people started reading it, then it became, you're weak, what about freedom of speech, this is sexist against men, you suck, toughen up princess, that kind of stuff. The comments are way more offensive than seeing that shirt was. In a private correspondence, one Phi Sig brother said the shirts had nothing to do with the organization and referred ATV News to the letter of apology written by President Darius Hadiate, which said these shirts are five years old and our organization has already been punished for them. The Inner Fraternity Council also issued a letter of apology. The director of Women's Initiative commented on Lee's article relaying full support. I spoke with Adriana Gansey, a WI member herself. The idea that that was ever okay that a group of gentlemen collectively got together and said this is something we all want to wear and be proud of is so disconcerting. Alex Ionacio, Speaker of the Undergraduate Senate, spoke with us about a resolution SG passed to encourage more enforcement of AU's existing clothing bans. It passed unanimously but there was debate on it. Um, there is of course a question of your First Amendment rights, freedom of speech, freedom of expression. They could not take a firm opinion um, on what to define offensive speech other than to refer to what the school defines. Jacobs Fitness Center policy states that clothing with offensive language and or graphics is not to be worn in the gym. This has been Anna Kark for ATV News.